Hi, I'm Bad Wolf. What I'll be showing you today is how to min max day three in Stardew Valley. If you haven't already watched the min max day one and day two tutorial videos, I recommend going back and watching those first. I'm following the min max guide by Black Sight 6 and Zamil. I'll leave a link to that guide in the description. So the main goal for today is really just catching as many catfish as possible. It always rains on spring day three, and generally any day in spring when it's raining, you want to disregard any previous plans you might have had for the day, and you just want to fish for catfish. Catfish sell for between 200 and 400 gold before you reach fishing level five. And then further in the season, once you have the angler profession, they're gonna sell for up to 600 gold a piece, so this is the best way to make money early in the game. So let's get started. So first, we wanna empty our inventory and grab our fiberglass fishing rod. Now, if you have at least 80 bait and you got copper ore from a fishing treasure chest yesterday, you'll wanna make a chest and take it directly to the forest river and fish all day. If this is the case, you will need to remember to stop by Willy's tomorrow to buy more bait before you go fishing tomorrow. If you have less than 80 bait and or you did not get copper ore from a fishing chest yesterday, then you'll want to grab your hoe and fish south of Leia's house until 8.30 a.m. or until you run out of bait, whichever comes first. I did not get any copper ore yesterday so that's what I'm doing. So at 8.30, you'll wanna head into town. We'll check the trash cans at Jody's and Emily's houses. Then we'll check the beach for forageables and artifact spots. And then head to Willie's to sell all our fish and beach forageables. If you're planning to complete the community center, you will wanna save a sardine for that. If you got copper ore from a fishing chest, you can spend all of your money on bait. If you did not get any copper ore from a fishing chest, you'll want to save 75 gold to buy a copper ore from Clint. Ideally, you want to be able to buy 500 to 700 bait right now. I can only afford 458, so I'm a little behind. The better you are at getting perfect catches, the higher quality your fish will be, and the more money you'll have for bait. Now we'll take everything out of our chest and then pick it up. You can pick the chest up by left clicking on it repeatedly when you have an empty inventory slot selected. If you got copper ore from a fishing chest yesterday, you can go straight to the river to fish now. If not, you'll want to head to Clint's now to purchase a copper ore, so that's what I'm doing. The purpose of this is to get the ability to craft furnaces. Once you obtain a copper ore, Clint comes to your house the following day to give you furnace blueprints. Now we'll head to the forest river to catch catfish. You'll want to place your chest in this specific spot. The reason you want to place it here is that it's a spot where NPCs don't walk. If an NPC walks through an item that you've placed, that item will be destroyed. I'll put a link in the description to a picture on the wiki, which shows where you can safely place items near the forest river. You'll also wanna stand in the spot I'm standing in. The further from land that you cast, the higher the quality and variety of fish you'll be able to get. So this is a good spot to fish from. Catfish are going to be difficult to catch at your current fishing level. The Min Max Guide suggests that you should be able to catch about 50% of catfish, which is tough. In general, it's tough to keep up with the goals set out in this guide, but if you can, or even if you can get close to meeting those goals, you'll be way ahead of where you would be if you just did a casual Stardew run. Now remember to periodically empty your inventory into your chest, so you have room for up to five items in case you get a fishing treasure chest. When you need to eat, you'll want to eat items with the lowest gold per energy ratio first. 
XO Algae, Joja Cola, and then the highest quality Chub. I'll leave a link to a list of food items with their corresponding gold per energy ratios in the description. We'll want to fish until 2 a.m. So just before 2 a.m., you'll want to fill your inventory with your fishing rod, hoe, gems, ore, pole, and your most expensive stacks of fish. You'll want to save your chubs for eating since they have a low gold per energy ratio. You won't be returning to this chest until spring 7, unless it rains before then. In general, you always want to grab your most valuable items before you pass out after fishing. That way you're able to sell as much as possible on days when you need money without having to walk all the way to your fishing chest. So, we caught some catfish today, and we also got to fishing level 6, so this was a successful day. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, consider liking it or subscribing to the channel. I have more Stardew tutorials coming up. I also stream Stardew and other games at www.twitch.tv slash wolftickles. Links are in the description. Thanks.